welcome to learn with Diva. Some time ago, I did a magic square video, which if you haven't seen, you can watch here, and many people watched it. We started by finding the center of the top row, but in a four cross four magic square, there is no center. So today we're going to learn how we can make a four cross four magic square, or any doubly even magic square. So let's get started. wondering what's a doubly even magic square in the first place as you already know an even number is a number which is a multiple of two but a doubly even number is a number which is two times two which is two even which is that's why we call it doubly even so any uh, two times two is four so that means any multiple of four will be a doubly even number the first doubly even number is 4, so we're going to start with 4. So as in my previous video about magic square, we learned how to do the magic square in 3 steps. Similarly, we're going to learn how to do an even magic square in 3 steps too. The first step to making a doubly even magic square is the cross. The cross goes like this and like this. So that means it has a center and four corners. So the center is half the size of the whole square. So let me outline the center so you can see. So in our example, the center is two by two because the square is four by four. Two by two is the half. And the next doubly even number eight uh, the center would be 4 by 4 because that's the half of 8 by 8. Now the, there will be 4 corners. Remember that the corners are always 1 fourth the size of the whole square. For example, in an 8 by 8 square, there would be 2 squares colored in at the corners. In this case, it's 1 because 1 is 1 fourth of 4. Step 2 is very simple. It's called forward. All you need to do is move forward from the first square, left to right, left to right, left to right, until you reach the last square. And as we're moving forward, we're filling the squares with numbers. So what number do we start with? Well, you can start with any number. I'm going to start with 1. So I'm going to write 1 over here. The trick is you can only write in the shaded squares while moving forward. But you count every square. Let me show you. So this would be 1. Then we still count the square. 1, 2, 3. But since this is shaded, we're going to write a 4 here. But we don't write it in these blank spots. Then we move to the second row. 5, 6. So we write it here since it's shaded, 7, empty, 8, 9, 10, 11, we skip this one, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Now that was step forward. Simple, isn't it? Now let's move on to the third and final step. It's called, as you already guessed, backwards. In this step, you do the exact opposite of what you did in step 2. You start from the last square and go backwards, but you write in the non-shaded squares or empty squares. Let me demonstrate. This would be 1, but there's already 16 there, so I'm going to skip it. So this would be 2, and since there's nothing here, this would be a 3. This would be a 4 but there's already a 13 so we're going to skip it this would be a 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 that would be 16 but there's already a 1 so that's pretty much it it was really simple, but now let's see if, it's, if it adds up to the same number. 
I calculated this would be 34, this row would be 34, and this diagonal would be 34. This diagonal would be also 34. So that's how you do a doubly even magic square. Now let's try the same technique on the next doubly even magic square 8, which would be huge, but we're not scared of numbers since we know these steps. Step 1, cross. So since this is 8, the 1 4th one fourth would be 2. So we're going to shade 2 by 2 corners in and the center which would be half which is 4 by 4. Now let's move on to our second step which is forward. So let's start with 1 again. This would be 1, this would be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, oh that was a lot. Now let's do step 3 which was backwards. This would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 61, 62, 63, 64. Okay, that was a lot of work and I'm tired. So let's see if this adds up. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed learning how to make a doubly even magic square with me. To watch more math videos, please subscribe to my channel and keep learning.